Hey YouTube, what's up? Dr. T here and welcome to the Altcoin Express and my hometown of St. Petersburg, Florida. So this section focuses on Python coding and will detail and explain the stuff I'm currently working on. So I, <clears throat> I'm generally interested in computer science, which is a gigantic area in which you only learn certain aspects thereof. Uh, the specialization, I'm interested in artificial intelligence, which covers machine learning, computer vision, image processing, evolutionary computation, robotics, natural language processing, data mining, pattern recognition, knowledge, representation and reasoning. This is another big area within the framework of machine learning. There is a subfield, which is the area I'm interested in specifically, called reinforcement learning. Defined as, reinforcement learning is concerned with how an agent ought to take actions in an environment so as to maximize some notion of long-term reward. Reinforcement learning algorithms attempt to find a policy that maps states of the world to actions the agent ought to take in these states. One course available comes from Berkeley. It is uh, CS188, Artificial Intelligence, a reduction, introduction to, taught by Pieter Abel. Lecture 10 deals with reinforcement learning part one and an example, namely grid world, which is the problem I took to learn or code many, many months ago. This is the grid, this is the agent, it moves around, it picks up a reward here and it uses the value at the next state is zero. What if it and picks up an, a, an equation which enables it to back cursively re, re, to move the reward recursively back through the grid as it proceeds to go through cycles. Ultimately one wants to end up with something like this. That is the problem I am currently working on. Artificial intelligence, a modern approach, is the Bible in this area. Uh, Peter Novak works for Google and Stuart Russell is a professor at some university and down the road at page 645 let's go so under the section 17 making complex decisions we have the framework from which in the artificial intelligence grid world is taken so there's the grid world uh, example in this book and it leads on to um, defining the most efficient pathways for the agent to move to reach its goal, which would be called the optimum policy. And basically when you take these rewards of one or minus one and move them back through the grid, you should end up with a, a display like this. So with reinforcement learning, the godfather of this field is Richard Sutton from the University of Alberta at Edmonton. This is a free available copy on a PDF file which you can acquire quite easily by googling it. In the case of grid world the algorithm called Q-learning or temporal difference learning is the um, algorithm that actually enables you to feed back the value from the final state through the grid via what is known as the Bellman equation. So this little little bit here is the Bellman equation. It basically states that the updated reward that you get in any one of these quadrants, and that's up, down, left and right, relates to the value that is in that state, the current reward, plus a, a, a scalar times the reward that is in the next state up here times a proportion of the reward that's in the next state up here minus the original reward that you had in that state there. So that's the algorithm that you kind of use to determine 
how to um, recursively move these data back. And that's the problem I've been working on. The code's worked out. How to get it on the grid isn't. The grid is done, and that's what we'll move on to now. So I've just cleaned up the code, moved it up into my um, GitHub account, and I will paste the link below this vid of the code, which is in here. I've just put a note here. Delete one any, any one of these lines, and you'll find exactly what it does. Save me explaining it and we have to get a decision as to where the agent is going to go and there's two possibilities there's exploration where it goes about randomly or exploitation where it goes where the highest reward can be obtained it's a classic in this field and you can have variants on this and when it reaches its goal it gets reset and the agent gets moved variously by decision points along its pathway where it is moved back to the start if it reaches such a position so that is now up and will be posted at the bottom of this vid so for my grid world folder there is things in here so i've just renamed this and if you run this you can see what it currently does so the edge moves around reaches its goal gets reset moves around randomly and eventually gets reset there you go and one more till it finishes uh, or runs out of speed gets reset so it will go there you go you've seen all of them now pretty much um, 